Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in to Living the Yogi's Life, where I share with you how to live the yogi's life, how to take every step in your entire life based on the yoga path. I've been practicing yoga for about 15 years, and I want to share with you a really personal journey along the way. So something that not many people know about me is that I've struggled with periods of depression pretty much since I was nine years old. And some of these periods of depression have been pretty dark. And it felt like you know I was down in a dark hole that I thought I'd never really get out of. When I came to my first yoga class, I kind of felt like I found an answer to the depth questions that my soul was asking that I really wasn't even aware of with my conscious mind. I believe that yoga has the possibility to offer peace and healing to everyone as long as you get on your mat and begin to do the practice. And I can see that, that my really the whole life that I'd lived up until I started practicing yoga was a life lived kind of out of a feeling of emptiness. And I would look outside of myself for answers, but ultimately the yoga practice has taught me to find inside of myself. Something that may be hard for you to believe because maybe you see my videos where I'm always smiling and happy, but it's really the yoga practice that's made me smiling and happy. And I look back now and I can see, you know, there was no, there was nothing crazy that precipitated these periods of depression. It's just the seed that was there inside of me and I've had to struggle and deal with them. If you're out there and you know someone or you've ever struggled with depression yourself, you know how devastating that can be. And I feel you and I've been there too. I've had times in my life where I felt like I tripped and fallen into a black hole so deep so that no light could possibly shine. I never lost hope in the idea that life was good or that the earth was good and people were good, but I lost faith and I lost hope in myself. And I wondered if I would ever have something valuable to give again. Now I can look back now and I can see that it was because I was empty inside. I was looking for things outside of myself to stuff in, try to fill me up and make me a whole person. Through the yoga practice, I've learned that the only wholeness happens when you tune into yourself and you experience the true nature of your inner being the nature of the true self. And this is the gift of the yoga practice. As long as you look outside of yourself, there's always the opportunity to get lost and to feel like you are drowning in a sea of your own darkness. There's always that possibility. You might trip and fall at any moment. There may be a trigger in your life that you'll trip over every single time and you'll fall down into that darkness. You'll try to escape it. The more you fight against it, the worse it gets. The more you try to claw your way out of it, the worse it gets. But through the practice of yoga, the tool that I've learned is that once you fill yourself up from the inside, once you experience the depth and the truth of the inner being, the wisdom of the heart will speak to you. You'll be filled up from the inside with the knowledge of the true self. It is only the knowledge of the true self, your divine self, the grace of God really that's inside of you that will set you free. Up until that moment, you'll be searching for answers, at least I was, outside of myself. I went to one thing after another, looking into relationships, looking into worldly achievements to try to get some sort of sense of self-worth. But your sense of self-worth is perhaps immeasurable, and your true worth, I mean, is immeasurable. And it's really not possible to find that through anything other than the direct experience of the divine spark within you. This is why yoga is so effective, because sooner or later, that path to the true experience of divinity will be presented. And when it's presented to you, like the seed of awakening inside of your heart, you simply need to open your eyes and accept it, and accept the value of who you are. Believe in the possibility that who you are is worthy of love, who you are is, is great and good and whole, and that the seed of divinity rests inside your heart, not just inside someone else, but inside your own heart. And once you experience that peace, it is the peace that really is transcendent of all of life's circumstances. And I would say that if I hadn't been practicing yoga, I would still be looking outside of myself for things to fill me up. And as soon as you're looking outside of yourself, whether it's in a relationship, a love interest, a job, or any other achievements to fill you up from the inside, essentially you'll reach a point where those things no longer work. You'll be really mad at the world for not giving you what you want. But ultimately, the freedom that comes through the practice of yoga can lift you up, and it'll feel like a little bit of light that's shining deeply in through the cracks. Sometimes I think about the periods of my life where I've been deeply sad and I've been deeply depressed and I've been to see a therapist about that and been even recommended to go on a course of drugs and treatment but ultimately I decided to stick with the spiritual path of yoga and as soon as it started to really take root inside of me where I got the experience of my true self and that began to fill me up from the inside I started to really feel you know, what it means to be whole, complete as a person. And then that's the freedom that 
every single one of us is entitled to. So if you feel a little bit lost in your life, if you feel a little bit like you're not worthy of happiness, just know that you are inside. That the spark of your own happiness is your birthright, really. Almost like a spiritual inheritance that you'll tune into when you begin to open up the mind to the experience of the subtle body and receive the gift of the experience of grace. The more that you can surrender your will into divine will, the more that you'll experience the truth of who you are. Each time that you do the practice, take a moment to tune into the inner self. Take a moment to feel the breath and its movement through the body and let that fill you up from the inside. Each time you feel yourself tripping and falling, landing in a hole of darkness, whether it's for a day or an hour or months or years, know that sometimes what happens is that your heart has to be broken in order for the light to seep in through the cracks. So whatever you're going through is exactly what you need to go through. If the ego needs to be broken, then it'll be broken so that you can be whole and complete and true and free of all of the egos. So that you can surrender your will into divine will and be a free person right here from the beginning like you always were, really. I mean, that sounds kind of funny, but I believe that the soul, the spirit that's inside of us is eternal. And we lose sight of it sometimes, you know, we get caught up in our busy lives and everything. But when you get that experience, and sometimes it comes over you like a wave, or sometimes it comes over you in the least expected moments, you'll know that who you are is eternal, and that that divine spark is who you already are, who you were from the beginning, who you were before you were even born. And you get that experience, and it's the experience of freedom. You'll never ever look outside of yourself or try to make someone else make you whole or complete. You'll be so much stronger because you'll know who you are. You'll know that your birthright is happiness, and your birthright is infinite love, and you'll feel the true power of the spirit. And this comes from really doing the practice. You don't need to do anything fancy. You don't need to put both legs behind your head or both handstand for 20 minutes every day. You just need to get on your mat and breathe and keep an open heart. As little as five minutes a day can really begin to jumpstart your practice. And if you've been practicing for many years, remember to keep a beginner's mind in your practice so that no matter how many times you've done pose, it always stays open and fresh for you. So it always has the potential to tune you into the true self and let that spiritual intention carry forward in your practice and carry forward through every moment of your life. In moments of difficulty, remember who you are at your deepest level. Remember the true self and let that be your guide in each moment and in each breath. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're inspired to do your practice.